Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Not Real Engineering. And today we are going to learn something new. This is the first tutorial of software moods. And in this video, we are going to cover the introduction and installation process of moods. Moods is one excellent finite element code which very few people know about. I highly encourage you to try this out and you can find more details about moods on their website which is given over here. I will link it in the description box as well. In this video, we will quickly see the introduction about moods and then I will go over the installation process. So I will install moods on my computer. It's not there right now and we'll see all the process step by step. Now let's start with the question why moods? What's so special about it? First of all, moods is multi physics solver. It's not only for structural simulations. You can do many types of simulations and you can couple multiple physics together. It's like a console. Then it has a nonlinear finite element solver, which is massively parallel. You can run moods on multiple cores on the cluster and it can save you a lot of time. But the thing I like the most about moods is it has a Lego kind of structure. Means you can choose whatever you want and you can dump whatever you don't want. One example of this is given over here. Let's say if you want to create a multi physics module where you want to do thermomechanical analysis. So for that, you will take heat conduction module. You will take tensor mechanics module and compile the code to perform thermomechanical analysis. It's that easy. You just have to choose different modules. And these are some of the available modules I gave over here. Phase field, peridynamics, heat conduction, XFEM, contacts, fluid properties, tensor mechanics. Tensor mechanics basically structural mechanics. This is not the complete list. There are many more modules available. So you just have to choose what modules you want and compile the code together. And that code will able to do that type of multi physics analysis. For doing this, you don't have to have any coding background at all. The process is explained on the website. It is very easy. But let's say if you have coding background, then the source code of moods, it's meant to be changed. You can create your own modules. Let's say if you want to add surface tension physics, you can create a module called surface tension and then combine that module with any existing modules. And the process of creating modules is also very simple. Of course, you have to have some coding background for that. But the software is developed in a such a way that it encourages people to create their own modules and combine them with existing framework. Now, enough with the introduction. Let's start with installation. If you want to install moves on Windows, first you have to install Ubuntu app. I have a separate video explaining how to install Ubuntu app. If you don't know how to install Ubuntu app, please check out this video. And once you are done with installing Ubuntu app, then you can continue this video. If you are installing moves on Linux computer, then you don't have to do this first step. You can directly start from step two. All the steps which you have to follow to install moods, I have compiled them in one file and this file is available to download from this channel's GitHub profile. I will put the link in the description box below. So from that link, you can download this file directly and then you can copy paste the commands from this file. So you don't have to type everything by pausing the video. Now I will open Ubuntu app and then we will go through the step by step process. I will keep this in the half screen and this is the Ubuntu app. First thing you have to mount the C drive, then create a directory. You can name anything you want. I am naming for moves, then go into that directory. Let me just show you where the directory is. So this is the folder we created in C, we created folder for moves and I'm accessing that folder through this Ubuntu terminal. Now first task is to install Miniconda. For that, you can just copy paste command from here say enter then it will download miniconda done and now if you go to that folder you will see that file this is the file we just downloaded next step is to copy paste this command then export this path add this channels As I already did this process once, it is saying channel is already there, but it is just moving it to the top now. The next is to install Moods Conda packages. These are also packages will be downloaded from internet. So you need internet when you do this process. Copy paste this. It will take some time. Say yes. A few moments later. 
then say conda activate moods when you do this you will see the moods prefix instead of base and sometimes some error will pop up if error pops up you just have to do this type conda init bash and then restart the ubuntu and again go to the same folder and then again type conda activate moods and then definitely this moods environment will get activated this error might not come for everyone but for some people it might come and now our moods is activated after moods is activated create one more directory named projects go to that directory and then you have to clone moods from their github profile so that you can do by copy pasting this command if you go to that folder again you can see the folder projects is there and if you go in this project you will see folder moods and in this folder all the source code everything everything will be downloaded from the moods github profile so if you open this it will get populated once this is done yeah see it is getting populated now it will take some time so just wait for it once it is done go to moods folder and then copy paste this and then moment of truth we have to compile the moods for that go into test folder and say mac slash j space 4 then it will take long time so again i will play my favorite meme over here 2000 years later after a long time it's done and then we will test it for that use this command and now it will take even longer time so again one eternity later okay so hopefully all tests were passed i did not show the results over here but yeah they were passed it took like almost half an hour now moose is installed so if you go in this folder you can see everything will be installed over here this is the file moose test opt which you use to run all the tests now you can use this moose but there is something better moose is meant to be played with and the best way to do that is create your own application so we'll create our own application and then we can change anything in that. So to do that, first you have to go into this project folders, which we created that is in for moods folder. So go into projects and over here you have to type this command. Now this last name cat, it just any name you can give. They suggest you to give animal names. That's why I gave cat. Then say enter. And this will create a new application named cat. If you go into that folder again, go back into projects and you will see over here, this cat folder is there. Go into this cat folder and here moods source code is there. And there is one make file. If you open this make file, it will have names of all the modules which are available. And in front of that everywhere, it will say no. So you can select which modules you want. So for example, if you want, let's say, xfm module here instead of no you can make it yes so whatever modules you want just change yes in front of them and then save this file then go into that folder cat and compile that code if you want to make any changes in the source code of moods do it in this application don't change anything in the main moods folder Whenever you do any changes, just compile it again and you will be good to go. If you don't want any extra modules, you don't have to change anything in this make file. Just keep everything no, you don't even have to open it. You can just go ahead and compile using mech slash j4. Or if you want to change the modules, then again go into this make file, do corresponding changes and again compile it using mech slash j4. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And once compilation is done, there will be a file called cat slash opt. If you go in this folder, you can find this file cat slash opt. And this is your application file. Now, if you want to check if compilation is correct, you just have to run again some tests using this command. And it says it passed. So Moose is installed. Everything is set to go. This video is already long. So I will stop here. And in next video, we will see how to run your first example with Moose. And again, a reminder, this file, you can download this from this channel's GitHub profile. The link is in the description box below. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing to this channel. 
which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. You can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.